Though death can sometimes be hard to predict, there are numerous factors that can be used to determine which celebrities are more likely to die than others. These include age and health. Join Facts First as we explore celebrities who are expected to die in 2023. Dick Van Dyke Dick Van Dyke is the celebrity most expected to die in 2023. Dick has been at it for years, with the performer having found his niche in musicals and comedies. On TV, he made a name for himself as the titular star of The Dick Van Dyke Show. The groundbreaking sitcom is still influencing television shows today, and its legacy is liable to exceed the life of Dick himself. Other works he's known for performing in include Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and Mary Poppins. Though Dick has had a few health scares over the years, the reason he's number one on the list is predominantly his old age. Dick is now 97, although you wouldn't know it to look at him. Dick is a lifelong smoker, and he had an alcohol problem earlier in his career. Despite this, staying on his toes has kept Dick fairly healthy. He stays in shape by dancing, and still shows up on camera when he's asked to. Recently, he paid homage to the classic role in Mary Poppins by appearing in Mary Poppins Returns, a belated sequel released in 2018. Dick has been married twice and has several children. From 1948 to 84, he was married to Margie Willett. Margie was around his same age, but his current spouse is nearly twice as young as he is. She is Arlene Silver, and the two were married in 2012. Margie claims it's Dick's youthful spirit that keeps her attracted to him. Still, there are few people who make it past their 90s. Henry Kissinger's Although all the entries on this list are celebrities, some of them are not entertainers. Henry Kissinger is the celebrity second most expected to die in 2023. He's best known for his work as an American politician and diplomat. Most famously, he served as both U.S. Secretary of State and National Security Advisor under Richard Nixon. Like Dick Van Dyke, Henry's inclusion on the list is due more to his old age than failing health. Kissinger is currently 99 years old. He's been married twice over the course of his life, and he's currently married to his second wife, Nancy, whom he married in 1974. Bob Barker Bob Barker is best known for being the host of the insanely popular game show The Price is Right. He performed that role for many decades from 1972 to 2007. In 2007, he retired from the game show, and this caused some to worry Bob was in failing health. However, he seems to be in relatively good health for his age. He's 99 years old, and he is said to be on prescription medication for his thyroid. He's only been married once, and his wife has been deceased since 1981. However, Bob is currently with a serious partner who helps to take care of him. Alan Greenspan Alan Greenspan is best known for being the 13th chairman of the Federal Reserve. He filled this role from 1987 to 2006. Since stepping down in 2006, Alan has made a living for himself as a private consultant. He's currently 96 and is in relatively good health. Still, there are many who aren't expecting him to make it to 2024. Nigel Starmer Smith Nigel is a former rugby player from Britain who made a living for himself as a commentator in the sport after retiring. For the past few years, the 78-year-old celebrity has been suffering from frontal lobe dementia. The disease appears to be advancing significantly. Last anyone heard, Nigel was unable to walk and talk. Because of this, he might die within the year. Jimmy Carter Jimmy Carter served as the 39th President of the United States from 1977 to 81. At age 98, Jimmy is currently recognized as the oldest living former president. He's been married to his wife, Rosalind, since 1946. He's been retired for over four decades, which makes him the former president with the longest retirement period. Jimmy's health has been slowly failing in his 90s. First, he was diagnosed with melanoma. Not only that, it was found the melanoma had spread to his liver and brain. Thankfully, he underwent treatment and the cancer seems to have abated. He was diagnosed in 2015 and suffered a serious fall at home in 2019 that necessitated stitches. Tony Bennett Tony Bennett is a 96-year-old crooner known for hits like I Left My Heart in San Francisco. Tony still works when he can, but he's a shell of his former self after being diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease in 2016. Tony's family claims that performing helps him stay in relatively good health. 
though his ability to do so has been rapidly decreasing. Despite recently releasing an album with Lady Gaga, it seems Tony has severely reduced cognitive ability. He's been married to Sousa Crow since 2007, and before that was married to Patricia Beach. He also has several children, including one named Danny, who also functions as his manager. Dick Cheney Dick Cheney is known for his tenure as the 46th vice president, having served under President George W. Bush from 2001 to 2009. Despite the fact that Dick is over a decade younger than Jimmy Carter, he shares a similar recognition. Whereas Jimmy is the oldest living former president, Dick is the oldest living former vice president. Given his younger age in comparison to others in this video, viewers likely will assume correctly that Dick is included for his failing health. He has had a staggering number of heart attacks, though he seems to have turned his life around for the better after the last one in 2010. Still, there's only so much you can do once your heart is as bad as his. He suffered his first heart attack in 1978 at age 37. He's had four in the years since. Harry Belafonte The celebrity that's ninth most expected to die in 2023 is Calypso legend Harry Belafonte. Harry, who is known for his classic songs like Deo, the Banana Boat Song, and Jump in the Line, is currently 95 years old. He's been married three times, and he's been with his third wife, Pamela Frank, since 2008. Harry was diagnosed with and subsequently recovered from cancer in the 2010s. This caused him to turn his life around, and he seems to be doing pretty well. But as we've already talked about, there aren't many people who live to be 100. He recently lost his close friend, actor Sidney Poitier. Mel Brooks Mel is the celebrity who is 10th most expected to die in 2023. He's a year older than Harry Belafonte at 96, but he's expected to die for similar reasons. Not only is he exceptionally old, but he was also recently dealt a significant blow to his morale due to the loss of a close friend. This was collaborator Gene Wilder. Some of Mel's most revered films were made with Gene, and the two remained lifelong friends until the latter's death in 2016. Before that, the Blazing Saddles filmmaker suffered the loss of his second wife, Anne Bancroft, in 2005. Mel and Anne had been married since 1964. Before that, he was married to Florence Baum from 1953 to 62. If Mel is close to death's door, he certainly hasn't let that fact out. In 2022, he produced and played a voiceover role in the film Paws of Fury, The Legend of Hank. Few people realized the film was a family-friendly remake of Blazing Saddles. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think that one of these people or several will die in 2023, or will they all make it to 2024? Here's hoping. Let us know in the comments section below.